How mighty is this earth? How mighty and how slight my life. The mountain that gave me all of my sculptures. Thank you. Muckle boulder. I had this set aside. Oh, it must be about ten years ago when I was younger and fitter and I thought I could get a fantastic elephant out of here. But I'm afraid the old body is oh, it's around here. In fact, it was through there in the main quarry that I also found the big cram and fifth stone. My life's not long enough. Corrani Hill. I've been taking stones out of here, out of this quarry, for 40 odd years. I have thanked this hill. I have thanked the gods for the gift of the stones. The lion stone, the tiger stone, the mother and child stone, the bison stone, the wild boar stone. All, all from this hill. I have thanked this hill, and here I am in this wet, grief, damp day, back here again, nearly 64 years of age, 45 years on from carving granite, and here I am standing here thinking that I can carve, that I can bring about one of these blessed stones into a piece of spirit. I love, love, love this place and love this stone. <laughs> You should have had this conversation about two minutes ago because I was busy looking at this stone thinking it was a wild boar. But the, the last time we were here I was looking for a baby elephant. I, I just would love to go carving a baby and elephant. And Polly says, is there not a yeah, baby I'm elephant? I'm standing here and I'm seeing, I'm actually on its top here and I'm looking down its trunk here and there is a beautiful baby elephant here. Maybe I'm going to leave here with my heart leaping. Who knows, a baby elephant, maybe, maybe, is it to be, is it to be? I hope, I hope, but what a wonderful opportunity for a last sculpture. I intend to peck at this to the end of time and never finish it. Anyway, thanks, Polly. <laughs>